if you are planning to move to the Philippines long term, then you must understand how the country's healthcare system works. As an expat, you will benefit from knowing whether you need health insurance, what kind of health insurance options that you have, and what is covered by health insurance in the Philippines, and of course, the cost of healthcare and insurance in the country. Over the last 25 years, the public health sector has undergone reforms that have improved healthcare standards in the Philippines. And according to statistics, the Philippines currently ranks on 96th on the world's top healthcare systems. Well, in most cities, healthcare in the Philippines will be just as good, if not better, than any other developing countries. And as a result of its high quality, low cost private healthcare system, the Philippines has become a popular destination for medical tourism and permanent relocation. The healthcare system in the Philippines is a combination of private and public systems. So now let's talk about the public health system. Well, we have a Philippine Health Insurance Corporation or PhilHealth. This is the country's primary public health insurance plan. And it was created to deliver universal health insurance coverage for the population making healthcare accessible, available, and affordable for many. Taxes, subsidies, and premium contributions of PhilHealth member fund the public healthcare system. So these funds actually provide a universal healthcare system to all Filipinos and optional access to foreign legal residents. So the system includes a government-run hospitals and health centers that are offers a low cost of free medical services. However, Due to limited resources, the quality of care in public facilities may not be as high as in private ones. There is also a critical shortage for medical professionals in all regions outside Manila that results in crowded hospitals, understaffed, and long wait lines. And also, public hospitals offer a low cost or free services, and it is actually the advantages of Philippines' healthcare system because of its accessibility and affordability, especially for those in need. And you know what, guys? There are over 700 public hospitals that are funded by the government that offers a low cost or even free services to Filipinos who cannot afford to go to private healthcare. Although it's affordable, but the public healthcare system has well known challenges such as limited resources understaffs and outdated building and long wait times which is very frustrating right and among the basic coverage that are covered by the public healthcare system are vaccinations routine checkups and basic medical treatment and some of the public hospitals in the philippines are philippine general hospitals in manila also vicente soto memorial medical center in cebu city and of course, the Southern Philippines Medical Center. So now let's talk about the private healthcare system. So actually, this is more advanced and offers a better facilities and services. It includes privately owned hospitals, clinics, and health centers that cater to those who can really afford to pay for their medical expenses. And most private healthcare providers are in major cities such as Manila, Quezon City, Davao City, and Cebu City. And I know a lot of expats and foreign retirees actually find the private system options more appealing because of its really nice services. Well, the doctors and public facilities can be just as good. In fact, some doctors actually work for both public and private hospitals. But for expats, uh, the equipment, facilities, doctors, treatment, they actually choose the private health facilities. And also, private healthcare offers a high quality medical care, shorter wait times, comprehensive services, comfort and amenities, advanced medical procedures, and more personalized care, but it actually charges significantly higher prices than any public health care or hospital. So some of the private hospitals in the Philippines are St. Luke's Medical Center in Quezon City, the Medical City in Pasig City, Changhua Hospital in Cebu City, and University of Cebu Medical Center in Cebu. Although private healthcare is largely expensive for the average Filipino, but expats find it more affordable than in their home country. And that's the reason why there's a lot of expats who want to retire in the Philippines because compared to the West, 
you know, the healthcare system here, the health insurance here is much cheaper than in the West countries like US, Australia, and whatever foreign countries is that. So now let's talk about the medicines and pharmacies in the Philippines. Well, these things are actually widely accessible, guys, whether in large cities or rural areas, because they offer a range of generic and branded medicines. And it's also common to find 24-7 pharmacies along many avenues in the city, in the province. So now, guys, let's talk about how can expats obtain a health insurance in the Philippines? Well... Expats in the Philippines have two options for health insurance. The first option is that you can sign up with a public health insurance scheme or what we call PhilHealth or you can either purchase a private expat health insurance. So let's talk more about the public health insurance. So this is actually administered by the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation or in short what we call PhilHealth. So to those expats who are planning to leave for more than six months, in the Philippines must register with PhilHealth. And all foreigners working for a Philippine employer are required to enroll in PhilHealth. And of course, guys, expats and their dependents with legal residency on a special resident retirees visa or what we call SRRV or the 13A visa are eligible to become a PhilHealth member. So now you might ask, how about your private insurance staff? Well, regarding with your private insurance, guys, for you as an expat, have two options to do that. You can either purchase from an international insurance company. So expat insurance companies are actually designed to offer insurance specifically for only expats, which it would make it easier for you guys to have a provider with a suitable policy. And it's very convenient though because you can actually purchase the health insurance via online or with your phone. So one of the most significant benefits of expat insurance is that it offers a coverage in other countries other than the Philippines. So now if you want to choose a local insurance company guys, then you as an expat also have the option to purchase a policy from a local private insurance company and usually for this kind of insurance guys you must buy the policy after entering the philippines and the coverage area is limited to the country only which is the philippines so steph how much does the public health insurance cost in the philippines well guys just for your information you have to pay for the public health insurance in the philippines based solely on your income so for the public health insurance, uh, let's just say your income range is up to 10,000 pesos, then your monthly contribution is 450 pesos. But then let's just say your monthly salary is 10,000 to 89,000 pesos, then your monthly contribution for health is 450 to 4,050 pesos. And then let's just say your monthly income is 90,000 pesos and above, then your monthly contribution to that, guys, is approximately around 4,050 pesos and above. So now, for the private health insurance costs, on the other hand, it actually differs greatly based on your age, your chosen provider, your coverage area, and your coverage validity period. So guys, as an expat here in the Philippines, you need to expect to pay between $100 to $300 per month on average per private insurance. So for the private insurance, you can find some of the best expat insurance companies listed here. I will put the image here, guys. Uh, so the international insurance companies are AXA Philippines, Aetna, Cigna Global, and Pacific Cross. Then you can actually just go ahead and research all of this international health insurance that you might be interested to avail or to get to because trust me health insurance and healthcare system knowing what to cause will really help you upon leaving here in the philippines guys so yes that's it everybody thank you so much for watching my video and if you guys have any more questions and concerns about the healthcare system here and health insurance here in the philippines then you can go ahead and comment down below i would love to answer some of your comments and of course please do not forget to subscribe to my channel Click the like button and click the notification bell for more videos subtitles. See you to my next video. Bye!